नमस्कार हर होलीनेस परम पूजनीय अम्मा माता अमृतानंद मई माता जी नोबेल लॉरियट कैलाश सत्यार्थी जी ऑल द esteemed dignitaries on the dais all the delegates who are members of our extended global family welcome to the city of nagpur which is your home in india it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to the city of nagpur which is also known as orange city because of very sweet oranges which this city offers and also it is known as the city of zero mile it is a city from where the great trigonometric survey to create the real milestones in asia was started this city is also tiger capital of india i hope that some of you would visit few national parks and would be able to interact with the tigers <laughs> because we always say that tigers are the gentlemen <laughs> but i must also say that this city has always been epicenter of social change as rightly told by dr vinay sastrabuddhe architect of indian constitution dr baba saheb ambedkar bharat ratna dr baba saheb ambedkar he embraced buddhism with hundreds and thousands of people in the city of nagpur and all of us know buddhism means non violence buddhism means peace buddhism means love this is a city where the largest social organization of world rss started its first shakha and today we can witness 200000 social service works being done by the organization it is a city of rashtra sant tukaram ji maharaj who has written gram geeta which says that every small community in the village can be self sufficient and he has given the mantra of self sufficiency this is the area of sant gadge baba who started the mission of cleanliness making every society clean it is the area of baba amte who started working for a downtrodden for those who are outclassed and this is also area where father of our nation mahatma gandhi ji lived for many years and started the biggest freedom struggle for india so i think that right now all of you are in the heart of india and i would like to welcome you to the heart of india i 
आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट माता अमृतानंद मई जी अवर अम्मा इज चेयरिंग दिस सी ट्वेंटी हर वर्क फॉर द सोसाइटी इज कमेंडेबल एंड मोर ओवर she is not just by title amma but she is a real mother who cares for every single person in the society the amount of work amma has done in india and globally i think that makes her entitled for being called global mother thank you amma for being the chair at the very beginning i must thank our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji who is chair of g20 for democratizing g20 g20 in india is no more a boardroom or ballroom discussion it has become people's movement every single indian now knows about the deliberations in g20 and i think all these global forums they require such a democratization because the boardroom discussions are important but at the same time those discussions should become people's movement then only we can see the social change which we require and that has already began in india and i must thank all the g20 nations for giving us this opportunity and specially to the team c20 for giving us this opportunity you can see the excitement in the city of nagpur people are very excited to welcome you all i think the role of civil society is very important because we know that governments are legal power but civil society is a moral power and any legal power without morality is a disaster so i think that in any society any community any country any nation we need to have a very robust ecosystem for the civil society so that the last man's voice is heard by the government there may be instances where government may disagree but as rightly said everyone should be heard and if we need everyone to be heard it is only civil society who can make it happen and now when we say that one earth one family one future when we talk about sustainability in the talk of sustainability most important is the rights of the last man of the society because we have seen after globalization we have come closer but at the same time our problems have changed dimensions but this globalization if taken in a right direction and as rightly said if we act as one family vasudhaiva kutumbakam is one family if we consider entire globe as one family i think that the issue of sustainability which we need to address today and right now will be 
part of our action and not not just part of our talk and that is why i think that the role of civil society in this globalized world is to make it feel that we are one family and we have one future if we do not act now everybody whether the richest person on the earth or whether the person who has nothing everybody is going to suffer and i think in the indian ethos we have always said tena taktena bhunjita which is consumption with restraint and that is i think moral of the day that is the motto of the day that is the buzzword of the day we need to restrain ourselves consumption has always been human tendency but when consumption leads to destruction i think it is time to act and it is only the civil society and its moral power which can make the governments and the communities act so that we exercise the restraint on our consumption i think in this c20 inception meeting all the different topics which will be deliberated will will come out with ideas and solutions which will be very useful for the world to become a good place to live to become sustainable in the end i would just like to say naneshwar maharaj he said duritan se timira jaho vishwasva dharma surya paho jo je vanchila tote laho prani jat this is the indian itho which means may the darkness of sin disappear may the world see the rising sun of righteousness and may the desires of all creatures be fulfilled i think that is the idea let us think for everyone let us think for every creature let us think for entire globe and we'll make it a better place to live thank you once again i welcome you to the city of nagpur may this c20 be a great success thank you jai hind jai maharashtra and uh, i think vinay ji would not be happy if i don't tell you about rambho magi prabodhini because my speech till now was in the capacity of government in the capacity of deputy chief minister but i must tell you that rambho magi prabodhini which is sharing the responsibility of organizing uh, this c20 summit it is a organization which is which has been given a consultative uh, organization status by uh, united nations it has been working for past 50 years and uh, it has worked on many issues in many fields right from the situation of afghanistan up to various tragedies which have happened in the country and globally everywhere rambo magi prabodhini has sent its team they have come out with reports it is also one of the unique organization which works for empowering the democratic leadership and uh, i think uh, there are many things which uh, in the course of this summit they will reach you they will come to you in in form of a booklet and uh, on behalf of ramho magi prabodhini as well i welcome you all thank you jai hind